Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we are heading back into the action. There's so much to do in today's episode. We wanna explore around, and that's where I'm mainly focused on, is going to be exploring a whole new island. We can go to Dodo Airlines and actually travel and see some different places, and hopefully find new people, collect new resources. Should be a lot of fun. Along with that, of course, I wanna be able to meet our current villagers. I didn't really see them at all yesterday or the previous episode, so I wanna change that up a little bit and say hello to them today. It's still the same day as last episode, but you know, I'm just still keeping at it. But yeah, I also need to collect a lot of these weeds because this is actually one of the Nook Miles things is to sell a bunch of weeds. We also have some fish that are repeats that we can sell. Lots of stuff going on, for sure. A lot of stuff for us to stay active and keep at it because honestly, it's just, there's a lot to do. That's what I was sort of worried about for this game is that once you get into the groove with Animal Crossing, typically I think usually, you know, you spend an hour doing stuff and then you're sort of wrapped up for the day but maybe it'll be more things to do in this game in general. Uh, how can I help you today? I want to sell, I got lots to sell. Um, of course, what exactly are you offering? So, I definitely wanna sell um, my clumps of weed, the loach, the crucian carp, tiger butterfly, and the yellow butterfly. And we also got clay in the last episode, I haven't been able to use that too much. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of awesome resources. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Let me just a moment to run the numbers. And done, I can buy all these for 1,300, sounds great to me. Thank you, please come again and again. Awesome, so we also already got some Nook points for that. I think it actually got, got us to Nook plus miles. Yep, so we get 100 for that. Actually, times two? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was just something we could do. We could sell fruit as well. Just doing these every day seems to contribute to some amount. We definitely need to chop more wood. Lots of things to do for sure. I think I will put some stuff away before we leave to a new island so that I can have some extra inventory space and everything. But yeah, let's just sort of talk to some people today. Like we have Tommy over this way. Feel free to chat with me anytime there's anything you need to help uh, you get used to living here. Oh, hey, I heard you're helping us out by gathering materials to build a shop, you're so kind. I'm sorry to place such a burden on you, but we really do appreciate you helping us improve the island. Well, I'm glad to help. Along with that, let's look for uh, Pashmina, here she is. Yeah, she's gathering some materials. Oh, hey, kidders, what brings you here? I wanna chat. Oh yeah, I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. How'd you know? <laughs> Cause this island's not that big. I mean, on a quiet night, I could probably hear everyone snoring. Whatever, I just wanted to say thanks for all the stuff you're doing for Stripe. Oh, I got an idea. If they've got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. Oh, what are you gonna give me? So I figured out how to make a shovel from this awesome collection of DIY recipes I got with my Miles. If I remember right, it's called a Pretty Good Tools Recipes. So far, everything I've built from there has been super sturdy. Anyway, if you dig that, if you dig that shovel, go get that collection. You'll be buried in shovels in no time, kidders. That's awesome, so we definitely need better DIY stuff, but thank you so much for that, what a gift. Um, so we have a shovel and a flimsy shovel. So their shovel's actually a little bit better than ours, so once ours runs out, we'll definitely do that. And also, before I forget, I need to water these wonderful flowers over this way, because we planted these, we wanna make sure they're growing nice and strong. And to do that, we need to tend to them every day. Uh-oh, no! <laughs> oh no, thank you for your service, faithful flimsy watering can. Maybe I can make another one. Do I have the materials for it right now, though? I don't know. So maybe it might have to be something that waits. But this shows you like there's a lot to do in this game. There's a lot like going on at any moment. Uh, should I craft something? I would hope so. Um, see, for the watering can. I don't have enough softwood. I need one more piece. So we'll come back for that for sure. There's other things I need to mess with anyways. We want to talk to Biff. Once again, I want to organize my inventory. I only want to get exactly the materials I need because everything else is going to be dedicated to me um, saving up for the extended shop. Really wanna just contribute any way we can, really. Anyways, in the meantime, picking up all this stuff. And where is Biff gonna be? Probably by his house, which is right here, the tent. He might be inside, actually. Yeah, let's see how he's doing. Looks like no one's here. Hmm. Okay, I was gonna say, he can't be too far. Look and build, squirt, squirt, what's up? Let's chat. Word is you're getting stuff together to build a shop. Good hustle. I found something that might help things along. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much, nice. I was gonna make those iron nuggets into some free weights, but having a shop around sounds way cooler. Faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. Go Team Stripe Squirt. All right, that's great. Everybody's so nice, I love it. 
Is there anything else we can pick up on the beach? Any kind of like shells we find or anything we can actually immediately sell because of the fact that there's not, no need to donate them or anything, so that's always good to know. How's our inventory space? Oh, did you see that? Oh, let's use the shovel. Right over this way there was, there was like a little squirt in the ground. I've been very curious. Aha! I got a man manila clam. Manila is my favorite clay of clam. All right, this manila clam can, could be used as fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Ooh, all right. We also have this right here. Whoa, whoa, what's going on over here? It's golden. Hey, look at that! Look, I dug up a thousand bells. What is going on with all this? Okay, so first off, pay dirt. I bet you didn't think you could, you, you'd find buried, buried bells here, hmm? But this is an island after all, buried treasure and whatnot. Enjoy some Nook Miles from Nook Incorporated to celebrate your discovery. And there we go. Almost the 4,000 miles, which is great. And do we have anything extra here? Not quite looking like it. Let's see, what is with it still being golden? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, now it's gone. Maybe I could, no, could I put a seed in there and, Hello, are you okay? <laughs> Wake up. Uh, ugh. Who's at the helm? Just give me five more minutes. But you gotta wake up, it's, you're gonna get sand in your beak. Mm, don't wanna be floatsome. Can I just be jetsome? It sounds more rugged. Ugh. I wanna keep talking to you until you get out. No, you walk the plank. Uh, I think you're so smart. The waves, the waves are gah, rid of the pool noodles. <laughs> and there's a bottle of, uh, there's a bottle, a, a message in the bottle over there. Oh, hey, he's up! Gulliver. Oh, do you have my pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so. Wait, wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on, I know that one. I'm the no Oliver than Gulliver. I see you faring a seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake up call. Those nasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I've been, I'm reading your vacant expressions as a yes. Phew. Guess I dozed off and stumbled overboard again. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Ha! Don't worry, the fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy. Uh, oh no, it's broken. My, my, uh, oh my gosh. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines, it's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple of hours. You, yes, you. Will you help me find my communicator parts? I'll look for him. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your heart must be almost as big as your head. Wow, thanks. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. Okay, so I guess we're a bit preoccupied to go to a different island right now. Um, anyways. This, these bells, I wanna go ahead and put these away. I don't know why they haven't already, but there we go. And let's get our message in the bottle and open that up. What was another DIY? Congrats on finding my treasure. I thought of this DIY recipe while I was letting loose during dance practice. I'll share it with you since you found this bottle. You'll want to use it all the time. From Flora, a creative. Natural garden chair, very cool. <clears throat> huh, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a natural garden chair. So there's supposed to be different communicators here? Okay, whoa, watch it. Hold on. Aha, here we go. I found a communicator part. So before we find too many more, because there's supposed to be five of them in total, I need to sell some stuff. Our inventory is full, which isn't really the best situation, even though I'm very curious about digging up these rocks. Not gonna be the best bet at the moment. So let's get through here for right now and see what we can find. Cause there's lots going on in the game right now. Uh, I will sell, yep. 
So first off, I have uh, just a couple of shells is mostly what I'm worried about. Actually, I'll keep all that stuff. I definitely need to go back home and organize some stuff. We got all the fun things we brought in today and done 460, that's pretty good. And we're getting closer and closer to what we need. Um, I mean, we're still a good like 80,000 bells off, but we're getting closer. So yeah, we'll just keep working on it. So for right now, let me run back home and try to organize some more of our materials so that we can, once again, focus in a bit more on filling up our inventory. I really hope there's a way to get an inventory expansion at some point, that would be useful, but I don't really remember that being a thing in the other Animal Crossing games. In the meantime, put in storage. Any kind of base materials I can gather a lot of, I probably want to have in storage. Like we have this iron nugget, some normal wood, clumps of weeds, and the clay. And then, I want to see, can I like click and hold? Aha, here we go. Very good. So this is a normal shovel. I probably want to keep this around because I'm sure this flimsy shovel is going to be kicking in the bucket eventually. Much better, much more organized. I like it. So with that, we'll go back out, we'll try to find more parts of this guy's communicator so that he can uh, call his friends to help him out. Seems to be a bit of an issue for him. Oh, there's a fish too. If I can take the opportunity, should probably try to catch a couple of fish. But yeah, I'm glad to have a more organized inventory now. That's something I need to sort of keep a good focus on as we move forward. I don't want things to get too un disorganized, you know? That wouldn't be very fun to deal with. Is he gonna look at this or no? Seems to be a little bit aloof of it. So I wanna change my angle a little bit so it lands right in front of him. Then he just can't deny it. There we go. There it is. Come on, what do we get, what do we get? Oh, okay. Do we have this one? Yellow perch, yes, we do. So we can sell that. No, there goes our fishing rod. So we definitely need to go and rebuild some stuff soon. For now though, I will pull up our shovel again. And we will try to find more pieces to this guy's stuff. And a sea snail. Hmm. Whoa! Whoa, and the worst time, oh no, I thought that was a fish. It's not. Oh, actually, the best time to have a slingshot. How do I use it? Like that. Oh, but it, okay. I need to get like under the shadow a bit more, I think. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Very hard to tell. Right now, no? Is that a little off then? There we go, we got it! Hey, what's this gonna have? A present. Let's open it up. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, Open up the present. I thought that was like a squid in the water. We got a humidifier. I have one of those right now in my office. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, I don't know if it's exactly dry season here in the game. It doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a fish, but I don't have the fishing rod. I was like freaking out though. I thought we had just found a giant squid in the water just swimming around. It was a present in the air. Um, oh, here we go, here we go. But that was a little bit off. That was totally off. There we go, not the communicator part. I found a communicator part. So we need to find five of those. It'd be funny if I could just sell them the nook. I, I'm not gonna do that, that'd be mean. But it would be funny if I could. So we just gotta keep looking around. We also gotta dig up the spots that we have dug, because that's only kind to do that. We don't leave a bunch of holes in the floor. No, come on. It is a little bit weird sometimes getting used to the controls. Oh, this is actually just a shell. I got a manila clam. So we can use those for, di for not DIY. Well, there is a DIY recipe, but for bait. Figured that out at some point. Here we go. There's another one. So we're three of five so far. Oh no, not good. Fix that up. And perfect. What else do we have going on around here? Just gotta keep our eyes peeled right there. Nope, R no, come on, what are you doing? Aha! So that is piece number four. Just looking, whoa, you can jump over him? Oh, that's cool. I guess if we're sprinting, sort of. It's a little weird. I like it though. So where could this last part be? Maybe a little bit up this way? I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Look at Pashmina chasing around the butterfly. Yeah, I don't see it just yet. It's gotta be around now. 
It'll make itself apparent sooner or later. In the meantime, I got that. Aha, here we go, here we go. Whoop. And there it is, the last communicator part. So let's see if he'll take all that. I'm pretty sure he said only five. Also, there we go. Oh, there's a bug. Oh, the rock squished him. No, it didn't. I gotta be quick about this. Here we go, ready, set, hup. Yeah, I got him, it's a little beetle. Yes, I caught a pill bug. That's a tough act to swallow. So we'll definitely uh, make the most of that and donate that at some point. We can't donate right now. If you didn't see the last episode, go watch it. Um, can I not do too much more with this? Well, actually, if I eat an orange, which I have one, um, eat one. I should be able to take out one hit. Okay, hold on. There we go, we just get a rock for that though. Not very exciting. I'm sure this shovel is gonna be taken out soon. It's gonna fall apart. So we definitely need to focus a little bit more on rebuilding some stuff after this. Hey, did you find him? Got him right here. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew, it's me, your brother from another rudder. So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Go over, over, and out. There, I should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm gonna send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Ah, I've saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. Do you have anything else to say? As long as my communicator works again, everything will be all right. Let's see here. No replies yet. Oh, <laughs> I bet my shipmates are already on their way over here. It says they read my message. Yep, any minute now. I sure hope so. Anyways, what do we got here? We got another one of these uh, manila clams. And we also got some Nook Miles, I think. Boom. Uh, Nook Miles, right here. Gulver's tra tra Travails. <laughs> travails? Uh, when you come across in trouble, someone in trouble on the beach, you help them, sending a fine example for all the island residents. Such kindness will survey, find, will surely find its way back to you. And it has with 300 Nook Miles. We're over 4,000 now. And I do see over this way, no, that's a normal butterfly. Oh, it's a butterfly we've already caught. And a little fish over this way, I unfortunately can't do much about. So that's what I think I'll start focusing on for right now, is going to be uh, trying to, what's it called? Um, get some of my, my basic items back, the ones that I've lost. But also maybe we can figure out some DIY stuff. I'm starting to think that we might not go to a new island today. I know it's what I said at the beginning, but we've already spent so much time doing some other stuff that it's sort of hard to keep up with. But as you can see, ooh, we can craft some fish bait now. Right there, there's a manila clam. I could use that. You know what, why not? What else am I using it for? I don't know exactly how this works, but I made some fish bait. Keep crafting. We'll make another one. Uh. Oh, look at this, we got some new stuff as well. We have the wooden low table and the natural garden chair. If the legs to this were black like this was, that actually match up really nicely. Still looks good though, we could definitely use that. Um, for right now, craft it. Yep, let's do it. And as you can see, I made some fish bait. So let's keep crafting just so that I can see what else we need. Um, because we need to remake our fishing rod, which will require tree branches and uh, not our net, but what was it? Our watering can, so softwood. And I think we have some of those back at home. And in the meantime, I can also sell some stuff to you. I wanna sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? I am offering, uh, not the bug, but the co-wire, the sand dollar, and the yellow perch. Look at all the things you've brought in today. 480 bells sold, so that's gonna get us over 14,000. I don't quite have too much I wanna spend on that just yet, but I do wanna get some of the extra DIY stuff. So, redeem Nook Miles, because that's probably gonna be the most effective thing we can do, is get different hairstyles as well, oh my gosh, I want them, but uh, we have the Nook Miles ticket, which we should already have one. Um, custom Pro Design Editor, 
So like, yeah, we have special stuff and then novelties. The novelties, I'm not too worried about at the moment. We could get those eventually, but we got pretty good tools, recipes. That's probably my most effective thing I need to get. Touring, it's essential. Oh, I think I know what that is. So let's go ahead and get this and that. Redeem 3,000 miles for the pretty good tools recipes. Thank you. So maybe we should just take this time to upgrade. Maybe we shouldn't reorder the old or remake the old stuff. If your order has been processed. Please place your Nook phone near the terminal to receive the app data. Well, there we go. The recipe data is now stored in your app. Thanks for using the Nook stop. And yeah! <laughs> I can make stronger tools that won't break so easily now. This is gonna be a material gathering game changer. Awesome, I like how Tom and Timmy were uh, in the background there clapping for us. And we're not quite done. We are going to uh, spend some more Nook Miles. I, I like how I can spend Nook Miles a little bit more freely knowing that I don't have to spend them on uh, our payments anymore. So tool ring, it's essential. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, uh, redeem. But I think there was a way I could have seen the description. Now generating touring essential. Your order has been printed. What do I do with that? I don't know. Uh, huh? Okay. I see. This totally makes sense. I learned how to easily switch tools. When I'm outside, I can press up to use the tool ring now. That's awesome. So that's exactly what I was hoping for. That'll make it switching between things much easier. Uh, for now, as you can see. Redeem Nook Miles, not receive. That's why I got confused about this before. So we get 200 extra Nook Miles for redeeming Nook Miles. Very cool. And more stuff starts to show up. Complete DIY projects, sell fruit, plant trees, chop down trees, very cool stuff. So what I wanna do right now then, is take a look at our DIY recipes. Um, we have new stuff. We have a stone ax, ax. Uh, so like the new, well that's a new stone ax, but this is a normal ax. Interesting, so if we get more wood, more shovels, um, this is a better fishing rod. It is indeed a better net. Very exciting. And a watering can. To do that though, we need a flimsy watering can. Interesting. So for all this stuff, you do still need the flimsier version. So I definitely need to go material hunting and get a lot of stuff. So we should go back home and get everything out that we have in the, in the home. Um, maybe along the way, I'll start knocking down more trees and stuff. Uh, just whatever I can do really. So where is my, that's my current shovel. So at least I don't have to worry about making a shovel. So I don't know if I have a tree cutting ax at the moment. No, I do. All right, so let's get the cutting as much as I can and just try to get some different stuff from the trees. It looks like on average, I can get three pieces of wood. So I will mostly just mess with that one. Oh, and there it goes. Trying to make the most of everything now. Oh no, it's the end of the line for my trusty flimsy ax. So pick this up and also, Anything else around here? There's a big fish. I wish I could get that right now. That's the tough balance though with this crafting system in this game. Oh, there's another little bug. Try to get to him in just a moment. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Keep at it. Now I can eat the orange, I think. Eat, and I might be able to break the rock. So let's quickly also switch to the net. Maybe try to catch that bug. Where'd he go? I don't know. Yeah, I wish you could actually see behind your house when it's like this. I guess he's gone. Oh well. Um, let's quickly switch back to the shovel before I run out of extra stuff. There we go. So it was just another rock, but it could have been a good group of bells again, just like last episode. Anyways, as you can see, we're doing quite well. Can I dig up this tree? No, I can't. <laughs> Not without chopping it down. But that's what we can do with the brand new ax. So there's like lots to do for sure. I'm very excited for it. Um, in the meantime, we need to organize some stuff. So I need to put this bug in storage, simply for the fact that I wanna make sure it stays there. Uh, this can be sold. And then I don't think we need clay at the moment to put that in storage. And I'm going to put it in storage for right now, but I will be bringing it all back out in just a moment. I'm just trying to like sort of reorganize things. And we also have our humidifier, which we can place. Would you look at that, very fancy. We'll keep uh, the air nice and humid, but I wanted to keep it there. Place item, there we go. So let's go to our storage now. Um, I definitely will need all of the wood, all of the iron nuggets, all of the soft wood, probably some stones, and wood. If we can find more stones, not stones, what do I need? I need more, I need more 
tree branches. Maybe I should, on the way back to the store, let's shake some trees to get some tree branches, because that'll probably also be a good idea. But it shows you just how much there is to do at any moment. It's crazy. So let's shake some trees. Even if it is just a couple of times and we only get one, that is a whole lot better than nothing. I don't want to shake it any more than a couple of times. I'm worried that, oh, money. Um, I'm very worried that some, some scary stuff will hop out. We've already seen the bagworm, but I don't want to see any spiders or bees or anything. So there's that. Keep shaking. It's a very courteous tree right there. Lots of branches. And over this way, get back to shaking. Nothing. If we shake every tree along the way, we're bound to find something good, right? Always a good amount of branches. Got it. See, so yeah, let's go over this way then. And once we get in there, we should be able to craft like crazy. I would only hope. So let's start here because we don't have that flimsy shovel anymore. No, we do, so, I mean, we, we already have a normal shovel, though, so it wouldn't really make too much sense to upgrade it. Anyways, should I craft something useful using Tom Nook's workbench? You bet. So if I want a brand new fishing rod, as you can see, I need a flimsy fishing rod and an iron nugget. So first, create the flimsy fishing rod, just like that. It's very interesting how iterative it is in that way. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Keep crafting, because now, we can make a normal fishing rod. Let's do it. And that's why it's good to go out of our way to collect as much stuff as possible at any time. I made a fishing rod, keep crafting. Um, So now, we wanna get a better net, right? Well, for that, we need a flimsy net and an iron nugget. Luckily, we have both of those things, so let's do it. And as you can see, I made a net, keep crafting. Still so much more to do. Uh, so I want a better watering can. I need to first make a flimsy watering can with softwood. We have exactly the amount of softwood we need for this. So hopefully that's a good idea. I made a flimsy watering can, keep crafting so that we can upgrade it. So the iron nuggets are actually very important because they are basically what we need to improve all of our stuff. So far that's been the case. So whenever we can, we gotta beat up those, uh, those rocks to get more iron nuggets. So now the ax, if I wanna get that, it's weird, because there's a flimsy ax, a stone ax, and an ax. So this one actually has two iterations, unlike some of the other ones, or all of the other ones. So first, we have to make a flimsy ax, because we don't have any more. And that's pretty simple, it's just um, branches and a stone. And there we have it. All right, I made a flimsy ax, very good. Keep crafting now. Now, we are going to make, with more wood, a normal stone axe. Well, actually, did that even require? Yes, I, I think it did require the flimsy axe. Uh, or did I favorite it? Whoops. And then we have, with that, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's so weird. Why is there a stone axe and a flimsy axe like that? I don't know. So I actually didn't have to make this at all. Well, I have one now, but this is what I actually needed. So let's go back over this way. Luckily, we have plenty of materials just to make another one. Interesting. Better to figure that stuff out now than later. So, made a flimsy axe. And we are going to keep crafting so that we can turn that into a normal axe. Uh, right over this way. Wooden iron nugget, you got it. And with this, we should be able to properly knock down trees. That's awesome. All right, I'm done for now. I think that's all I wanted. Super duper exciting. And we definitely have some nook stuff. So let's pull that up as soon as I can. Boop. And, is there anything new here? There's not, but there is the plus. So chop wood, that'll give us 150. So these are all like mini milestones, which is fun. And the more we do, the more pop up. Complete DIY recipes, another 150. And now there's two more. Pop balloons, which if only that happened sooner. Um, catch fish. Five of them. We should definitely be able to catch five fish. But let's take a look at our inventory to make sure everything is as organized as it can get. Um, Because it's not currently. But since we've done that, that means that we can definitely put some of the stuff back in our home for now. And we will pull it back out once we need it for more crafting. 
I wish that when you were uh, crafting at, you know, the crafting table, it would actually give you like the opportunity to just use stuff that you have at home, just as like a bit of a shortcut. But maybe that's asking for too much. Maybe if we get a crafting station set up at home, it will actually use our at-home storage. That'd be cool. We'll have to wait and see though. At the least, it'll be a little bit more um, accessible. Speaking of which, let's take a look at that. Um, I might even be able to make that right now. DIY recipes. Where is it? There's the mirror, which I can make now. Probably should have done that. So the mirror, I swear that there was a workbench. Yep, right there, right there. Hard wooden iron nuggets, so we could do that. I should definitely leave that by the end of today's episode. But right now though, we're already preoccupied with other things. I wanted to go and use these new materials as much as I can these new um, equipment. And I also wanna move this humidifier around. Not really in the best spot. Maybe I should just use this, because it's just, it's so much faster. Just to click. There we go. And while we're here, put in storage, put in storage, and put in storage. Just constantly store all this stuff. I do want to sell these seashells though. That's the only thing I'll keep here. All right, well, very good progress in today's episode so far. I'm so sorry we weren't able to do our little island adventure that we wanted to do, but that means that we just have more things for the next episode. So finally, so excited to be able to do this. We want to knock down, why is there two shovels, <laughs> but not the ax? Can I unfavorite something? I don't know. Anyways, doesn't matter too much, boom. And this should be knocking on the tree. There it goes, timber! Awesome, so that's no longer in the way of my mailbox, which is fantastic. I can also, let me use the flimsy shovel up then. The more I use this. No, not what I wanted. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. And now I just have free access to my mailbox without it being a pain in the butt. There was another thing that was like that over this way, but yeah, this tree. So, equip this ax again. Get a little bit more wood from it. And back to the shovel, the flimsy shovel, specifically. Got it. See, nothing too crazy with this, but it is some good progress. I don't know how many trees I'm going to chop down. I don't want to chop down all of them, of course. That'd be not a good thing to do but maybe this one as well. Anything that's sort of in the way. I mean, this one's actually not too much in the way. I thought that there was a rock around here that was sort of, but I don't know if we can bust rocks just yet. And I have my new, f new, uh, not fishing rod. I do have that, but uh, watering can, which we can use to water things up. Well, this was already sparkling. Wow, and it covers like multiple spots now. That's super productive. So if I stand right here, would you look at that? I think that worked. Yes, it did. You can see there's little water droplets next to them. Let's try that again, just like this. That worked for that one, but not this one. Okay, well there we go. So everything is all watered around here, very nice. And of course we have some bonus Nook Miles. Uh, so just one for chopping down a tree, very cool. And what do we get next? Uh, sell clumps of weeds again. So if we sell another 20 clumps of weed, uh, we can get some more stuff. I, I might as well work on that. And then we get another thing? Just keep stacking up. Yes, we did. Nook Miles for Miles. Earning Nook Miles for Earning Nook Miles. Yes, yes. You just earn miles for finishing Nook Miles plus goals. But where will it end? It would never will. So there we go. 300 more miles for that. <laughs> awesome. And I will continue to collect more weeds so that we can continue to sell them. Um, especially since this whole place is a little overwhelmed with them and they're not exactly pretty. They're a little scraggly. I'm sure that if we controlled it, I hear the, aha, I thought I heard the wind. Whenever you hear the wind whistling, it means there is something to take out. Uh, okay, I'm a little bit too far forward. There it is, wow, okay. So what is going to be in this one? Two presents in one day. Isn't that awesome? A sailor's hat, I wanna wear it. Look at us, we're a little sailor now. All right, very cool. Um, and that is going to be another Nook Miles Plus thing, right over this way. Boop, 200 more tickets for us, or miles. And what is this one? Plant flower seeds, we'll work on that eventually for sure. Right now, collecting more weeds, 
cleaning this place up a bit. As long as we get a good couple of weeds each and every day, I'm sure that we'll end up getting more than what grows in, you know? That'd be good. Got it. It's very easy to do, too. It's like, it's hard not to reason doing it when it's only a couple of button presses and you get to clear it out. But I don't want to spend too much time because I want to make sure this video is actually interesting. So, I'll leave it like that for now. And I would like to do some other things. Try out our new fishing rod. Would be cool. Which is right here. So let's see if we can't catch a couple of fish. If I find any, that is. There's the seashell. Oh, hey, you're still around. I send the quick heads up to my shipmates. Let's see here. No replies yet. This little check mark means they definitely saw my message, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're en route. All right then. Well, good luck with everything. I don't see too many fish around right now. Maybe they're all out to like lunch or something. So I definitely don't see any. Yeah, we'll, we'll check out Toto Airlines next episode. We just, too, not, not enough time, unfortunately. But that's okay. Oh, hey, Beth. Hey, Squirt. Did you have lunch? Uh, let's talk. I did not have lunch yet. The warm breeze feels good. I can feel my triceps coming out of hibernation. I agree. Because, yeah, the first day of spring was two days ago, I think. So, yeah, it's, it's springtime now. Oh, there we go. Come on, fishy. Oh, is this a sea bass? Yes, I caught a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C plus. <laughs> There we go, so that is another one to be uh, donated whenever the museum is finished, which won't be in this episode, unfortunately. That probably won't be until either next episode or the episode after, depending on if I record another one today. Oh, he almost got me there. Oh, ho, ho. come on. There it is. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, it's another yellow perch. So we'll keep running around because I needed to catch five fish, I think, in today's episode um, for some extra Nook Miles. We'll find out. Uh, nook Miles, yep, five fish. So I need to find three more. We can do that, no problem. And maybe I can volt around, try to find some new spots for fish. That'd be cool. Is that a little too far for him? He's like treading in the water too. You can see like little trails. Oh, okay, he's getting distracted. Where is he going? He's a quick one. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's right in front of him. He's gotta notice that, right? Ah, come on. Very tricky. Whoop. Come on, a little too far out. Oh, come on, just turn a little bit more. Oh, there we go. We've got his attention now. That's it. This has gotta be a new fish, right? Or is it another, uh... No, it's a pale chub. That name seems a bit judgy. We might have gotten a pale chub. It's always hard to remember. So we'll hold on to all the fish before we, you know, uh, sell any of them so that we know which ones need to be donated. Maybe they've always made that little tread in the wall. You just can't see it from this angle all that much. Because I've changed the angle because it makes it a little bit easier to see. Yeah, we'll wait for the uh, little bob to travel down the water a bit. There we go. That's it. This is fish number four, and it's a repeat. It is a Crucian Carp. So you know what? Where is my pole at? Right here. Let's get across. Whoa! Do we have enough inventory space? Yeah, we have two more inventory slots, so might as well make the most of that and probably pick up more fish. Oh wait, you're a new butterfly. You are definitely a new butterfly. Have to be. Oh no, we are going across the water. Bad timing. I just got over here. Okay, back. No, wait, don't go back over the river. Boom, no wait. There we go. Definitely need to work on my net catching skills. I caught a paper kite. No, so we do have this. Never mind. I was deceived. <laughs> so that means that I can do one more fish before our inventory is full. Definitely want to make the most of that. Oh, all the pretty flowers up there. I don't know what we need to get up on that extra level. Probably, a sh not a shovel, a ladder. 
would probably be my best bet. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops, so many buttons to press. It is so much fun to do that though. So there is one fish right here. I think I might leave that just to see if I can't get a better look over this way. Cause there's like a little part of the river here. I just haven't explored too much. Cause where are we on the map? Yeah, I've never really been on this part of the island. At least not all that much. Yeah, there's a whole section over this way. Oh, there's our last fish. Oh man, look at all the different, wow. Wow, there's so many different shells here. They just keep going and going. I guess because maybe this part of the island's a little bit more uninhabited. It just leaves plenty of room for shells to wash up or something. Anyways, I'm not gonna worry about that too much for right now. We will come back for sure though, because I wanna get all these. Those will definitely sell for a pretty penny. There's a bunch of them. Oh, I just scared that fish away. Let's calm down for a bit. Don't wanna rush around where the fish are because that'll scare them off. Oh, there's a little dock here too. Not quite any fish around just yet. But as soon as we find some, I'm going for them. Aha, oh, they're so tiny. Got it, come on. Turn around a little bit, if you don't mind. Okay, maybe a better angling. Whoop. Come on. Get a little closer or not. Trying to get this just right. Oh, come on. It doesn't, I guess I'm too far away. Ah, that is not what I wanted. That's it, right in front of him. Come on now. Got it. Oh, it's another one of these. All right, well, we got a sea butterfly. Try not to confuse it with a sea moth. And that is going to be our Nook Miles right here. Get Miles. All right, very cool. So that's 150 points. That means it opens up another one for getting more wood. So you can just continuously do these over and over and over again and be able to get an indefinite amount of miles. That's cool. So my one last goal for today's episode then is going to be selling some of our extras that we have here, putting away the ones that are definitely not extras, and then we will um, go and get all those shells, sell those, and be done, because there's just too much to do at any moment. I'm gonna keep getting distracted, and the episode will go on forever. But yeah, I'm glad that we were able to help go over before and you know get a bunch of new tools. That's really exciting as well. Um, these tools will really help us make a major difference. So, how can I help you today about building a shop? That's not what I meant to do. Uh, right now, we're asking residents for their help in donating the materials we need to build a shop. Okay, so what do you need? I, I haven't looked into this. We need 30 pieces of each wood, hardwood, softwood, um, as well as 30 iron nuggets to build a shop. You don't need to bring in everything at once. Once we have 30 pieces of the materials we need, I'd appreciate it if you could help bring them in. All right, so I'll do that soon. For right now, I wanna sell. I think that maybe that's something we'll focus on on its own episode, is earning up enough materials to do all that. Um, I don't know if I need the tulip hat anymore. I think I'm past that. Uh, the yellow perch, pale chub, well actually not the pale chub, but the crucian carp, paper cup butterfly, and the sea butterfly are all things I can definitely sell. And the sea snails over this way, that should be a pretty penny. And done, 3,157 bells is going to get us over 17,500 in total. Very nice. So we're almost done. I want to put away the other stuff because I definitely need to donate that whenever the museum is open. But for right now, I'm running over this way. Going into our house, putting it away, getting back to that beach, getting all of the shells because apparently they do stack. I didn't think the shells did, but they do. That makes it much more useful. So for this, put in storage and put in storage. And same thing with the wood over, no, I didn't want to drop it. Uh, put in storage. And this right here. I might as well put this uh, clumps of weed in storage as well. And we'll keep just trying to collect things, build up our inventory, build up our whole collection, and hopefully things will just balloon bigger and bigger. That's always the hope, right? So we just wanna keep the pole for right now because if we pull up across this way, I don't know if there's durability on the pole. I sort of hope not. Cause I feel like that would just be an extra sort of hassle in a way that wouldn't be the most enjoyable thing. I'm scaring fish away, unfortunately. But I didn't plan on catching any more for today's episode, so it's not a big deal. There's a sand dollar. And there should be a couple more 
around here. Oh, that's a big fish, though. I gotta go for that one. I gotta go for this big boy. Might just be another sea bass, but you don't know until you throw out the line and catch him. That's it. Come on. Whoa, it's another little uh, all flounder. That's not the pits, indeed. So we'll definitely just be able to sell that right off the bat. Fantastic. And this is where all the shells really start to stack up a little bit. You can see we still have plenty of inventory space because they do stack. Isn't that wonderful? Just being by the beach is very profitable. So more sea snails. And this is, I think, our first piece of coral. Another giant fish over this way. Not the best angling, though. I love how the waves hit the rock over there. It's intense but relaxing at the same time. Will you notice this? No, you won't. Let's get a better angling. Whoop. Come on now. Oh boy, he's a fighter. It's another one, two for one deal. Another olive flounder. Did they take up more than one slot? They do. Is that, uh, yes it is, it's still there. We get another one of these uh, manila clams. I probably should keep those so that we can keep making fish bait. And over this way. Not quite done, more fish, more clams, or sand dollars, but I don't know if a sand dollar is technically a type of clam or something. Here's another manila. Oh, got some Nook Miles, but more importantly, time to fish again. I just can't stop playing, it's too much fun. Oh. Got it. Whoa, hey, look at this. Yes, I caught a bar bared knife jaw. Very zebra-tastic. They must have had a hard time eating. Nice, that is so cool. Very fitting for us, don't you say? Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly get the net. Oh, I'm, I'm full on inventory though. What can I maybe drop? I don't know if the manila clams are that important. Because I really want to catch whatever these are. I think they're they're silverfish. I got one. Yes, I caught a wharf roach. This water-loving roach has no peer. All right, well, we got a full inventory worth of stuff. Some of it we can sell, some of it we definitely have to donate. So I will be putting that back in our home. Very cool, very exciting. Lots of great progress in today's episode. I think I'm not gonna do any guarantees because I don't want to disappoint anybody, but I think we'll be good to go to the other island in the next episode or whatever other islands we can go to because I'm pretty sure that's what we can do with the Dodo Airlines. Yeah, having lots of fun today. Very, very fun game. Well, let's talk to uh, Timmy. I think it is Timmy and Tommy Nook. Timmy's in the in the tent and then Tommy usually is just walking around. But yeah, we definitely can work on getting them a better shop sooner or later. So I wanna sell, definitely the shells. So we've got sand dollars, not the manila clam, the giant clam for sure, uh, the olive flounder, Venus comb, sea snails, olive flounder again, co-wires, looking good. Alrighty, look at all the fine things we brought in today. 4,440 bells. All right, major money. We are actually getting Pretty close. Like in just one episode, we've gained over like what, 15,000 bells? If we keep up with that, we'll be able to pay off our loans in no time. Well, with that being said, fantastic progress in today's episode. We got new tools, we helped out a new friend with Gulliver, and we were able to continue making progress with uh, the, well no, that was last episode, I was gonna say the museum. But we did get more things that we'll be able to donate in the museum when it is available again. So let's put this in storage and put this in storage, and finally put that in storage. So yeah, there'll be so much more awesome things to do in the next episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.